Young Global Leader, honorees for 2010, and an active participant of the World Economic Forum, a place where young leaders envision and create a brighter future. He is also a trustee of the Philippine Development Foundation, an organization committed to social development initiatives for Filipinos in the Philippines and around the world. He is the founder, CEO, and chairman of More Morph Labs Incorporated, an innovation leading cloud enabler delivering computing efficiency for enterprises. He is a three time Red Herring Awardee as CEO of three Red Herring Awardee companies, a prestigious award giving body short listing the top 100 companies for innovation. He is also a recipient of an eServices Achievement Award for his IT contribution in Asia and the Philippines for his lifelong achievement in development of the Philippine information technology industry and marketing the Filipino software developer globally. Our fifth Asadan Achievement Awardee for his outstanding achievements in global IT entrepreneurship, Mr. Winston Lim Damarillo. speech that uh, I'm going to decide not to use given now how eloquent all the former speakers are and how intimidating it gets to be among these very distinguished uh, Lassalites in front of me. But first of all, um, I just want to ask my mom uh, to please return my rosary. <laughs> I would need it back after the speech, just so you know, I, I'm, I can keep sitting in front of here. <laughs> uh, really excited to be here tonight. And just a quick thing to share about my life at the Sal. Uh, I came to school at De La Salle Taft, uh, probably the hardest time in, in, in my family life. Uh, I was born rich, but we lost all our assets in our business, just about the time I was going to college. And my parents uh, scraped everything they can, scrambled so that I could get to LaSalle. And they said, um, you, you better make this worthwhile. So I'm really happy I picked the right Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and it seems to have paid off. So I, I went to LaSalle, I was in industrial engineering. And there was a big joke uh, in, the, in the engineering college about IE being introductory engineering. <laughs> and uh, the one thing I always have at school is I had great, great educators. So uh, suffering through all the jokes around IE, uh, Mr. Egay de Castro, our dean, kept reminding us that our job at, in, at industrial engineering is to find the better way. So this mantra of the better way have always been a part of the reason why I suffered through all the subjects and courses I had to take in college, but at the end of my college life, it became the driving force behind my interest to become an entrepreneur. There, there's always a better way around the world, and I was determined to discover what that is. And I wanted to do this at the most challenging stage in Silicon Valley, and I want to participate in the information technology business. And Fortunately, you know, having picked the right Catholic university, um, uh, I had an opportunity to work at Intel. I had an opportunity to pioneer the idea of open source as a new way to write software. I had an opportunity to compete against IBM and Microsoft and Oracle and, you know, the big giants at the time. And we had the good fortune of having succeeded in that field. So. Uh, my team and my colleagues and my friends are here tonight to uh, help, you know, uh, me and thank me for, uh, in thanking LaSalle for this award. Uh, the mantra of there's always a better way has always worked with us, not only in driving me to take the first steps to entrepreneurship, but also even going further. Entrepreneurship is hard. If you are a startup, you always start as an underdog. That's just a common thing you do. And what's really important is the ability to cross that finish line. 
So the other thing I wanted to share is another learning I had in La Salle. Uh, so as in La Salle in IE, uh, having, you know, after, after a few months, we've gotten used to being ridiculed as IE. And uh, one of the things that uh, we were thinking about at the end of my college life is, um, I don't, you know, we're not, I'm an average student, I didn't really excel in any particular class, though I really like the IE courses. Uh, but we wanted to make a mark for ourselves, and um, along with two or three of my, uh, two of my best friends, Junia Reza and Willex Perez, we decided, hey, let's go for something big. Let's win the gold medal for thesis, and let's show our, you know, future cum laudes that uh, uh, we know something about about uh, the field. And we decided to to go after something very difficult. We wanted to apply industrial engineering principles to a marketing problem. Uh, we were fortunate to be given a very difficult problem by the Philippine National Oil Company. Uh, they wanted us to methodically improve their sales process of and distribution of oil. And so we said, hey, that sounds fun and cool, and no other sane cum laude bound uh, engineer will do that. So let's do it. Let's try to see if we can do this. And along the way, a professor named Marlon Makani um, who after our thesis advisor said, you're probably not gonna even pass the course, came in with us and said, you guys can do this. If you really believe in it, go for it. And since you're going for it, go for gold, will you? <laughs> and, and Marlon Bakani uh, put not just a mantra, but an incentive in us called go for gold. And we've had that all throughout the fourth year in college, and eventually, you know, three average students ended up with the gold medal for best thesis. Experience and preparation at La Salle has taken me through the impatience to take the first step to become better and to find a better way, but also the confidence to pursue something that is difficult when you always have um, uncertainties and challenges in front of you. I was really happy that I got that experience at La Salle. Uh, I've always you know, go back to La Salle as having been the place that have been the seed of everything that I have accomplished to date. And I wanted to make sure uh, in accepting this recognition that I always remember our mentors. Because at La Salle, I did not only get the best education in the world, I also got the best mentorship in the world. And um, before things get too late, and in fact, when I sold my company to IBM, we sought out Marlon Bakani, or Professor Marlon Bakani. And by the, by the time we found him and his family, he had already passed away. And so uh, my big hope and my con commitment as a Lasallian is to ensure that our best asset in the school, our professors, are well taken care of, and that hopefully along with some fellow alumni, we would find more ways to recognize our professors and our mentors in the university. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Winston.